Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to another edition of Commander Cards Break Vintage, featuring Smelting Vat, a card I didn't know existed until yesterday. <laughs> Apparently, this card was printed inside of the Brothers War Commander decks, question mark, um, and I had no idea. I thought that was like a reprint thing. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's a new card, and what it does is you sack an artifact. And you reveal eight cards, which is a million cards, basically. And you put two non-creature artifacts with total mana value less than or equal to the sacrificed artifact's mana value onto the battlefield. So, basically, it's a Turbo Vault key deck. Uh, I've built this deck in the style of uh, Carnforge, which was the broken mud combo deck uh, in 2019 where you would be able to play four Karns and four Mystic Forges before both of them were restricted. Uh, this deck I built in a very similar fashion. We're playing the four Defense Grid, four Grim Monolith, uh, four Voltaic Key style, four Top Inspector to make Top, uh, you know, Inspector to make everything cost less. And we're just going to churn through our deck with Smelting Vat. Sometimes you can activate Smelting Vat as many as three times in a turn. Just uh, like every time you find a key, you get to another, do another activation of Smelting Vat. You can sack uh, one Moxin to find two Moxin. Um, this card is just like deceptively powerful. Uh, I 5 0 the very first league I played with this deck. Uh, in that league, I had like Tinker, Ancestral, um, Time Walk, uh, Thought Monitor, and Bolus's Citadel. And I have found that you don't need those cards because the Mud Shell is powerful enough on its own. Uh, one of the key ingredients here is the Might Stone. Um, you can just, you know, sack it away for basically any card in your deck. So the legendary problem doesn't really come into effect. And this card is just never a blank. It's always drawing to, making mana, killing creatures. It also answers the one problem that this deck has. And the one main problem of this deck is Collector Oof. Uh, that card is a beating. Uh, but we do have, you know, Urza Saga, Ancient Tomb, City of Traitors, uh, and, and now three Artifact Dismembers. Uh, we have a huge Karn board. We also got to get, you know, play the nice Stone Brain. Should be fun. Uh, and I think Worm Coil Engine is the best it's ever been in workshops in this deck. Uh, you turbo it out, and then you can sack it and get more stuff. It's just really, really sick. Um, yeah, testing for this deck has gone really well, like substantially better than I thought it was. Basically, I was playing a bunch of blue cards to, like, prop up the deck. And I found out that Smelting Bat was actually just insane. Um, and so it's good. So your, like, your number one goal is you're, you're a Time Vault key deck, and you are like a Turbo Time Vault key deck, but you can also like find Mystic Forge and go off that way, uh, do Karn things, and uh, you're just going to try to churn through your deck and uh, combo off, and you, you're doing that at a really quick rate, typically. I've also tried things like Serum Powder in this deck. Uh, I don't think it's bad, but there are some problems with like Exiling Time Vault, which you can't really do. You can do it because Karn can get the Time Vault from Exile, so it's not like... But then you can't find the Time Vault off of your Smelting Vat, and that, and that is a pretty big downside. So uh, we're trying Basalt Monoliths in the Serum Powder slot today, and we're trying uh, more Might Stones. I think I had two Might Stones in the last build. Now we're up to three Might Stones. Uh, the card is pretty nuts. Um, yeah, so it's it's built in the style of, like, the Vasu Carnforge deck uh, from... What was that? That wasn't uh, a TMD. That was a uh, NYSE. Though the NYSC tournament where 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 Karn Forge is really really big, and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm excited because this deck is pretty fun. The comboing off with the smelting vats and like churning through your deck is a really fun. Uh, you get to activate a lot of cards and do a lot of things, so it should be really really strong. It's not. Uh, I mean, it's not really common to rely on a single time vault, but the thing is. Like, this looks eight cards deep, and you can do it two, three times a turn. So you can look, like, 24 cards deep to find your Time Vault with this. So I think the third petal should be better than the Opal in, like, the random cases where you don't have Metal Graft. Um, I don't think it's a huge deal either way. All right, let's go to round one. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, here we go. Round one. We have a we have a banger of a hand. We've got Vault Key. We have the protection with Defense Grid. Um, you know, answer for a collector roof. So this this hand is fantastic. So 
Awesome. Glad to hear it. Okay, we've got <laughs> Sapphire Ruby Expressive Iteration on turn one. That's uh, that's some solid synergy. <laughs> it's just powerful wizardry. What can we say? They got a strip mine. Fantastic. And a pearl. Uh, so I'm going to go, hmm. I mean, I think I should still win this game, but I'm trying to figure out how I, w the best way to sequence. I think the best way to sequence is like ancient tomb defense grid, maybe. And then not expose anything else. So hopefully they can't, you know, they tap out and strip mine me. Okay, Ancestral Recall. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is a hell of a hand. My opponent's hand is just gasoline. This is like the best possible Luris hand, right? You have your strip mine, you have three on color mocks in. And now you can just hold up force through defense grid. It's just kind of incredible. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this game. Our opponent's hand was just like a little too good. I don't really know what we can even do about this, really. We have to just power through it somehow. Maybe what we do is we go um, workshop, monolith, pedal, try to draw two with the might stone, get that countered as bait. I feel like that's probably the best way to go about this. Well, I guess I can actually just use this key. That's probably fine. I guess I could get mental misstepped, but... I think this will just get forced, and then maybe we can have a, a time vault next turn. Yeah. My opponent's hand is pretty much the 100, you know, the top tier 99th percentile just guy draw, so it's going to be tough. But I believe we've navigated to a, a decent spot here where we got rid of their force. So hopefully they'll, you know, use a bunch of mana to tap out and we can just time vault them. If not, I mean, we still have a saga, so they're going to have to find a wasteland. Okay, well. Please tap out. <laughs> I guess I'm not even I'm not even currently winning if I resolve it. So I mean, that's really good. They have to counter this. We're, we're inching closer to killing them. <laughs> I mean, if they don't have a force for this, then they're just really dead. Oh, okay, they're really dead. I'm just going to plus so I don't get lightning bolted, and then I can't imagine they can ever come back from this. Though we don't have enough mana currently to do anything useful. Actually, do we have enough keys? If we get a key, we're one mana short, right? Because I do have a key in my board. We needed to have drawn a mana off of this. Do I have a mana in my board? No. Is there like anything I can do? 
I can... I could, like, blind draw with top. I could untap my Grim Monolith, pay three mana, blind draw with top, and then try to hit a two or three mana source. Well, I, I can't play my Time Vault and take infinite turns here. I can untap my Mana Vault, play my Time Vault, get a key, but I won't have mana. I don't, I don't see it. If you see it, by all means, but I, I don't see it currently. I, I am low on mana after my opponent wasteland my Mistress Workshop and my Ancient Tomb. I, 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 I still will not have enough mana. I can pay one mana and use this key and untap this and then play a Time Vault and a key. And then I can't have any mana to untap my Time Vault. I can next turn, but I don't want to expose it. If I draw exactly Ancient Tomb or Workshop or City, I'm going to just go for a blind top, and I can get another key uh, anyways. So I'm just going to try to go a blind top and see if I can win this turn. I hit another key. Which didn't actually get me anywhere, right? Or does it? This key makes one more mana. So is that enough? No, that puts me at exactly three again, right? <laughs> uh... I just, no, but if I play a Vault now, I expose myself to Shattering Spree. I'm just going to untap. Get a bunch of mana. I mean, I have a, a Saga coming as well. They could main deck Spree. I don't know how much a 3-ball really helps me. doesn't really... Oh, uh, I guess it does a double secure... Maybe a three ball is fine. I do have a saga going off next turn unless they... God, no, but the this is so bad if I get wastelanded. This play was so bad. If I get wastelanded, I just lose this game. Like, <laughs> All right, they're off it. This was... I don't think this play was good because I can get wastelanded now. I think I was just supposed to untap and plus on something and go next turn. Three ball doesn't three ball doesn't help me at all. I don't know why I, I don't know why I actually did that. I, I this is why you don't listen to chat. <laughs> that card actually did nothing because I have a defense card in play, right? I think it was plus or do that, or I could like spyglass to see what was in their hand or something. It's okay, it's okay. We we will do more ignoring of chat and more just in playing magic. It is like a weird deck for me, so I don't have all the lines, but uh the good news is we don't have the sideboard. I do think we want three ball here though i don't even know on the draw three ball nope not a kci deck it is a turbo karn forge style deck uh, needle on wasteland i guess is fine mm, yeah just guy's huge right now well, maybe, I'll, maybe i will play a three ball here I don't really think, like, Worm Coil is good in this matchup. I don't know if they're going to keep in Swords or not. I'm just going to just do that, I guess. I feel like I played that pretty well up until the point where I... <laughs> I just keep having these Vault Key hands. Uh, I mean, I have to keep this hand, but it's definitely uh, a riskier hand. I'm going to just deploy on turn one and hope they don't counter it.
They chose not to shuffle. Hmm. The thing is, I really want to play Saga on turn one. So, I'm just going to go Saga. Soul Ring. Maybe I should bait with Key. Okay. I kind of wish I had a Soul Ring and not a second Key here, but... You think it's broken? You didn't respond to me. I thought I scammed you. <laughs> I was like, oh no, did I scam him? <laughs> Ragavan. I wish I had this Soul Ring, by the way. I guess City of Traders is pretty good as well. I am just going to make Karnstrucks. Nice Ragavan. Oh, they're on Breach. I wish I could get a Defense Guard off my Urza Saga. I think that'd be fair. Yeah, I guess that is an Ancestral. You hate to see it. Would it? Uh, maybe. The good thing is I can get a Sensei's top, and it means I can draw three cards a turn, so. Don't you think Sensei's top drawing three cards a turn is fair, too? I'm just going to play Workshop, Foundry Inspector. I don't just don't think I need to play Time Vault until I can find a Defense Grid. I also have like a just the craziest board right now already. So look, I got a Force of Will on a Foundry Inspector. Nah, this is good. Little known secret, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to spin or I just want to like activate top post and draw two cards. I think activate top post attack is just fine. I mean, these these contracts are huge. My opponent didn't have a wasteland, so they lost the game. Well, they can they can they can shattering spree. To be fair, they'll probably draw a waste uh, uh, <laughs> shattering spree, right? Did you, did you see game one, Slasher? They played Sapphire Ruby Expressive Iteration on turn one. Epic gamer. <laughs> Absolutely epic gamer. They had uh, they had uh, all three Moxen in play. Ooh. I guess they don't have Shattering Spree. Yeah, we and we won that game. <laughs> UZW, deck's broken. Ledger Shredder. Three cards in hand. We gotta be pretty close to winning this game. I think this deck is extremely strong. Uh, and I'm kind of sad that we may have uh, figured it out in right in front of Eternal Weekend. <laughs> Not a good. <laughs> but it was gonna get posted anyway, so I figured I'd play it today. Alright, my opponent has two cards in hand. So they have to have exactly fours. I couldn't keep it a secret. I had to four o drop. <laughs> I couldn't do that to myself. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna go for the win. My opponent has to have exactly force blue card. Didn't have force blue card. All right, yeah. Uh, we didn't even play the broken card. We <laughs> we legitimately did not play the broken card at all. <laughs> uh, too funny. 
All right, here we go. Round two, Vintage Challenge. We're up against ADM. ADM is typically some kind of um, painter hybrid shops deck, usually like somewhere between aggro and combo shops. Our hand has nothing. Mulligan. This hand is, yeah, okay. I think this deck is quite good. I agree. Um, I am going to jam uh, blind, and the reason I'm going to jam blind is because I have a high likelihood my opponent is on shops. And I could be wrong, but I'm willing to risk it for the extra advantage. So I'm going to play Saga Ruby Time Vault Go. I mean, I'm pausing on this saga. I hope that doesn't mean I'm getting vigored. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last time ADM played a deck that wasn't combo shops, but uh, they do brew a lot, so we'll see. I'm down to get punished. <laughs> Don't clip that out of context. <laughs> my opponent said, oh my god, Justin played a saga? Hold on, I had to screenshot it. <laughs> I guess we don't need to run Vault. We could run Defense Grid. Uh, I guess that's true. I don't know. I don't know if I want to show them Defense Grid. And, like, have them have that capabilities. The problem with showing them Vault is they can needle it. I mean, maybe we'll, we'll just run Defense Grid. I mean, we get Wastelanded, we get Wastelanded. We have four keys in our deck, though, so it's not a big deal. Mox Opal. Ancient Tomb. Sphere Resistance. So that's, like, another reason that you might want to play your Time Vault early. But we have enough mana where it shouldn't matter very much. Uh, I think we can actually just get away with making Constructs as well. Because we'll have plenty of mana next turn. And my opponent doesn't always play Wastelands in their Workshop deck either, because they typically are on a more combo-oriented version. <sighs> okay, City of Trade. I hope it's not a Karn. Crucible. All right, so they're dead. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, Workshop Mirror, without them having a Needle, is not going to go well for them. Okay, so Workshop Mirror, I think I am just going to take out all my defense grids, bring in Worm Coil Engines, and maybe Spyglass looks pretty good. We might need, I guess we have Might Stones, I don't know if we need Dismembers. I can take out this Lodestone Golem and play I think I'm going to bring in Dismembers. I feel like my opponent's going to Painter combo me. I might take out a top. Let's do this. Uh, so this is a good hand against a non-combo draw from them. But I don't know if this is a good hand to keep. And our deck is so good at, like, doing broken things. I kind of want to find something better. <sighs> I don't know. Like, two Worm Curls is pretty good against the shops in the Shops Mirror. But I guess if they go, like, Sphere into Wasteland, they're pretty bad. So... I think I'm going to mulligan this and look for something better. Oh, no. You think they kept in spheres in the shop's mirror on the play? We did show them defense grid. 
God, I don't think you're allowed to keep this. I would normally keep this, but it's shops and they have spheres. If they kept in spheres and they play a sphere on turn one, we just lose pretty much. And we don't even have like a win con in this. It's just an all mana top hand, but it's, a, it's an all mana top hand with manifold key. Like we're going to churn. No, I think you should be, you should be mulliganing this hand. Yeah, I mean, this is our best hand yet anyways. Uh, uh, I think I'm just going to get rid of this Lotus. Because I want to keep both these lands. Yeah. I'm just going to get rid of this Lotus. I think that's what we're going to do. Saga, okay. We don't have Wastelands either, for what it's worth. Sphere? Ah, there's the Grindstone. So yeah, my opponent my opponent is still on this combo-oriented painter thing. Okay, so I can go Workshop, Inspector. I think I'm just going to go Double Inspector, and then next turn we can try to go for something crazy. Draw some cards, go for a kill or something. If we don't die, I mean, my opponent could go Painter Servant, kill us, right? It's a pretty reasonable thing they could do. Workshop, Painter Servant, kill us. We don't really have a, you know, counterplay to this besides a needle. And we do have two needles in our in our deck right now and one more needle in the board. Maybe I should bring the second, this other needle in now that we know there's grindstones. Yeah, I'll probably bring the other needle in for the last game if we have to play a last game. Wasteland, okay. I hope they wasteland us. That's good. I hope they go for constructs. That's good. All right. So we got some time here. Yeah, I, I have the deck in the cardboard live, um, but it's missing like seven cards. So it's really not useful. I apologize. Uh, I probably need to switch to Stream Decker. I just haven't got around to doing that yet. I think I'm down to just tap the the monolith, and that way I have tons of mana to use. Down to draw top cards here. Just want to draw Smelting Vat. That's all we want here. Smelting Vat time for sure. Come on, Smelting Vats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a 3-3, three, three, so we can make an attack here. I mean, Worm Coil is fine if my opponent doesn't combo kill me. I just think we're going to get combo killed. That's enough, enough mana. Uh, I guess I'll use the Academy. I don't think it's bad if I get Wastelanded, so. I, I could have not... I could have played the Worm Coil pre-combat, but then I think they're less likely to block. So. All right. Time to find out what my opponent's got for us. I mean, they could just Black Lotus kill us. Painter, Black Lotus kill us. I mean, that seems like what's going to happen here. Uh, our our might stone just whiffed, unfortunately. I will bring in this other needle. Um, don't really think this is like a stone brain thing. It doesn't seem necessary. Right, I'm gonna take these worm coils or some of the worm coils out. I don't think they're necessary either. I don't think they're bad, but I'm glad I brought in the dismembers. That was good. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what my opponent likes to play, so. All right, well, now we're on the play, and we know what's going on, and we've got turn one Karn. True or false? False. Uh, 
This is probably still a keep, though. We go Jet, Needle, Wasteland, uh, Talarian, Monolith, Inspector. Yeah, I mean, this is a keep. And then if our opponent doesn't play a turn one kill, then we should just Karn them and win. Well, what's the problem with playing Inspector? We're definitely needling waste. No, no, we're going to needle waste. So you're saying play, don't play Inspector to play around Strip? I guess they could play Ghost Quarter, technically. Uh, but we have a Karn coming. You really want to needle a non-land here? I guess, like, we can't die on turn one if we needle a non-land. Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. If we just needle Grindstone, and then... We still have four mana. Yeah, alright. I, I guess... I guess this does alleviate some amount of problems. I don't know. I guess mine is more risky, higher upside. Don't think we need to be more risky. Hey, a ghost quarter, yes, yeah. <laughs> All right, not me wins, baby. <laughs> I don't have a basic. Not me, so smart. Look at that. Just played around the ghost quarter like a savage. I think you just always play Karn here. And then next turn we can get like a key if it, if we really don't hit mana. Do we take out any mana sources? I kind of want to take out like a mana source and have so I can have it in my Karn board. I'd like to have, maybe I should just put an opal in my Karn board. Is that crazy? Maybe I should just have an opal in my Karn board. I mean, if they play a creature here, it's pretty bad for me, right? I guess I have a dismember, so maybe not. Trinosphere. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, workshop. That's not good. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go get a key, I guess. I guess I could just put an artifact land, yeah. Maybe that's better. I kind of think we want one, though. I think we're going to lose this game. Maybe I shouldn't have played Karn. Yeah, I mean, this saga is going to... If they have an Ancient Tomb to follow up this saga, we're just going to lose, right? Uh-oh. Can I play Dismember for life? I can't, right? Trinosphere on the draw in the Shop's Mirror does not sound correct, but... Yeah, we're just going to lose this game. That's crazy. All right, workshop, baby. I need it. Uh, I can't believe they kept in a Trinosphere. It's so bad. Oh, well. What's I got to do? They have Ancient Tomb Saga workshop after. Man. Well... I would have done much better in this game if I had played Smelting Vat instead of Karn. I I can't believe this. We're just getting completely murdered by a Trinosphere in the Shop's Mirror post board. Trinosphere and Sphere. I don't know. Well, I'm glad I mulliganed that hand where I had no mana in game two. We're just dead. This is sickening. I don't like this at all. Oh. 
If I had played a Smelting Vat, I could have at least turned my Grim Monolith into mana. But, I don't know. I, I don't... I think we made the correct play. I think we just got... Some unfortunate things happened. I don't think I have ever kept in a Trinisphere on the draw post board in a Shop's Mirror. I don't think I've ever done that. The problem is this is now reinforcing bad habits. <laughs> uh... Oh well. Take some L's sometimes. I mean, if we hit workshop, workshop, we would win the game, right? If we hit work, if we hit workshop, workshop, we would just go vault key and kill them. But now we actually have no outs. It's like risky to tape a Talarian Academy hand, but I mean, I wanted to name Wasteland, so I, we would have gotten got by a Ghost Quarter no matter what. I we should be like really favored in this mirror. Because typically, uh, sphere resistances and trinospheres and everything are just dead cards. Um, oh well, not much we can do. But, um, yeah. We could have kept a hand with more mana, but I think our hand was like pretty strong, right? Four mana, and we had Karn. Yeah, I'm pretty much always gonna keep that. Maybe we needed to mulligan harder. Eh, I don't think so. I think you just hit, got hit by variants here. I don't think that the things we did were wrong. Yeah, uh, hmm. There's like a lot of downsides to doing any other thing as well. Like if we play Smelting Vat and then they play Revoker, it's like pretty bad for us. Uh, if we had played Inspector, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere either. So like, I think the choices we made looked fine. I just... This was unexpected. I mean, even a sphere would have actually killed us because we wouldn't have been able to play key because we never drew another land. Ah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Back and the Vintage Challenge. Round three now. We're up against Chains, who is usually playing a control deck. Uh, most recently been on different kind of Maharu-style oath lists. Um, so Defense Grid should be pretty good against them. This hand is, looks like a keep to me. Has two powerful cards. We're just a little short on mana, but I think it's fine. I mean, if you're going to go turn one oath, maybe it's not fine. <laughs> uh, whew, okay. I mean, I guess there's a world where we vault key them. So, should we just go Saga, Soul Ring, Needle on Grizzlebrand, Sensei Top? Probably. I guess I just exposed my needle to Mindbreak Trap. Which I know they play. Like the idiot I am. Ugh. So if they hit Grizzlebrand, I think we have a chance. If they hit Niv-Mizzet, it's probably really bad for us. If they hit Niv-Mizzet, of course. Again, I think Defense Grid should still be really good. Uh, hmm. Pass. No land drop. I don't even know if I want to play into forces. Hmm. I 
Uh, I mean, I think I need to get things countered, right? I don't think creatures matter at all. I kind of wish I could spin into Time Vault so I couldn't get it forced, but... So what I can do is this can hit Defense Grid off of my Basalt Monolith. I think that'll be the big play. I'll leave open this activation, too. They probably have to force this. <laughs> Chains, ask one second, please. I haven't seen this card before. Fair. Fair. I don't think this game is over. I mean, I do think they should force this. If they don't, we just... Yeah, so they're just going to force it. They'll draw a card off of their force. They got rid of a mental misstep. So all we are going to do is spin, try to find a defense grid, utilize the defense grid as uh, protection, and uh, hopefully that gets us there. It's possible. It's definitely possible. All right, so they make a thing, they get a grizzle brand, I assume. As long oh, they have besieged you for needle. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> All right. Again, I don't have the island. I don't know, Slasher. I want this island. Really want this island in my deck. We were just dead on board? No, we weren't. What are you talking about? My, I had a I had a needle on Grizzlebrand. They can't activate it. Now they can activate it, and I don't think I'll be able to resolve spells. So, yeah, I mean they just activate twice and kill me now. So, yeah. So I, I think I had a shot in that game. Yeah, I had a defense grid. Wow. I think we were gonna win that game if they didn't have Besaju. I think we would have been able to go defense grid into Time Vault and kill them. Damn. Wow. We almost won that. It's close. Oh, let's bring in Trinisphere on the play. Uh, let's bring in Cage. Um, kind of like the idea of having spy glasses and things. I don't know. Good stone brain oath, but I think they can beat us without oathing pretty easily. So I don't really think that's like a big deal. Kind of just want to bring in Cage, Spyglass, Trinisphere, and I want to take out maybe some of the creatures, like Lodestone as Inspectors, maybe. Maybe that's just the best idea, is just take out the creatures. Maybe we'll stone brain. Let's try it. I think just taking out creatures means at least some of their draws won't be able to oath. Okay, so I have Lotus, Lotus, Academy, Grid. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a keep. Again, we can get Wastelanded on our Academy hand. So maybe it's not a keep. I don't know. I just like looking at these hands, it always feel like I'm supposed to keep them. My opponent vigors, I just can respond pretty easily. Well, they had the force for the defense grid. So now I can't respond to a vigor. Uh, it is what it is. They have a vigor too. Wow. Um, man. I mean, I, I don't know. It is what it is. Force blue card, force green card. 
Not good. Not good. And Wasteland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This has not gone well. The problem with playing Pearl is it exposes it to Oko, but I have to start playing my things. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't done anything worthwhile today, unfortunately. Kind of just gotten rolled over. Force of Will. Stone Brain. Like, I don't think you even care about Oath in this matchup, so that's why I don't think the Stone Brain should be good, but I just didn't think I wanted to play a Foundry Inspector. Like, if they found Oath here, the Oath wouldn't at least wouldn't do anything. Nature's claim. Good lord. The matchup wasn't good enough? No, that's just... They, oh my god. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're dead. We are... D -d 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 dead. Uh, so they have a wasteland loop, so I don't know if it's actually worthwhile to even play this ancient tomb, considering we can't play a spell off of it. So probably need to waste. Or wait, so we don't get wasted. <sighs> Dead. Yep. Smelting that. Not good here. There are not very many things that are good here. Has to be like Moxon, right? Yep. Yep. There's a Moxon. Uh, I'm thinking Karn and then... We stand up. Yeah, we're going to Karn and stand something up, I guess. Oh, they have a hard cast force. What am I kidding? Uh, they hard cast force and then wasteland my ancient tomb. And they could always nature's claim whatever I stand up. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in playing here. Opponent has done the counter our things, counter our things, gain back advantage using planeswalkers. The, the thing has happened. It is over. Yeah, they're going to start looping run and six unless we have a needle, which we can't needle because they have a claim. Oh, they claimed a moxin. So next they can ultimate run and six and then cast claim off of every land. Oh, they have claimed everything. Okay. Oh, they have oath too. Yeah. I don't think claim with retrace is very beatable here. Uh, I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. Concede, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that was atrocious. I mean, we had a decent hand. Defense grid hand. They just had double force. Okay, here we are now, round four of this challenge. This is our six card hand. Our first hand had all lands. This hand has all spells. Uh, I'm going to just mulligan this. Uh, this hand's great. I'm going to keep. Let's bottom uh, needle and let's bottom city. And then we'll keep uh, defense grid into double uh, good cards. This hand looks great. I'm really happy about this hand. I can't move my hand around for whatever reason, but... See what our opponent does. Obviously, I'll be sad with my needle gone if they play Bizarre Baghdad, but defense grid pretty good, depending on which kind of Bizarre Baghdad they are, I guess. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Opponent was probably away, seeing as I was also 
away. All right. Flooded strand, go. Key. Uh, I am going to play workshop degrade key. I think utilizing my mana is better than protecting my workshop from wasteland. That might not be true. But the problem is my ancient tomb is not really going to help me against wasteland really either because the workshop doesn't pay for either of these. So... Looks like they're going to cast Ancestral in response to Defense Grid. Okay. Got a force for my Defense Grid, or are we just going to battle it out from here on our own turns? If my opponent uh, follows up Recall with Wasteland, this game looks extremely hard to win. And I will be, you know, very punished for playing our, my Workshop as my first land. Uh, if that is the case, I guess our best draw would be, like, Ma Grim Monolith, because then I could still use, like, Monolith Monolith. Okay, they do have Negation Pitching Fluster. I'm going to use my mana and play Key. And then... Oh, they have Misstep. Awesome. Fantastic. The good news is I have many keys where that came from. I am a man of many keys. So YouTube watchers right now are probably like, this deck's terrible, but the, the leagues we've been playing in between rounds have been going much better. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I'm not lying. God, did they just consider into Treasure Cruise? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, wow. I mean, opponent is going off two Ancestrals in one game. The good news is we didn't get Wastelanded, so we can at least play spells. Oh, I thought the Bizarre matchup was super, super good, too. I mean, I lost to, to Painter Grindstone, and I lost to uh, Chains on double, you know, Force of Will, Force of Vigor hand. So, like, I don't know. Magic? Like, if your opponent casts Ancestral Recall on turn one into, tre into Treasure Cruise on turn two, forcing and misstepping, you're just going to lose. I think that's fine. Like, we mold a five, we played Defense Grid, and, and then we started to play, you know, a couple more hits, and sometimes that makes it, and sometimes that doesn't make it. You definitely, you know, sometimes you are not going to be able to keep up with Ancestral into Ancestral Force Force. Let's see what happens. Game is not over, over, but my opponent still has six cards in hand after using two forces, so. It certainly doesn't look good for me, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, like, I, it's possible that the, the league was a, a scam. We just had, like, a really good high-variance league. That's totally a possibility. It just felt like... <sighs> felt real good. So... I had high hopes. It's probably for the best if this kind of deck is not good. Though it's pretty easy to hate this deck out. I mean, Null Rods and, and Collector Roofs are definitely super strong. Less than three is fine. It just depends on what you're looking for. You can you can sack boundary inspectors and serum powders and I've been I've been had a lot of success sacking one drops and getting a one drop and a zero drop, sacking zero drops and getting two zero drops. My opponent narset it into a third force of will, so I, I don't think we have any chance of winning this game, but whatever. I mean, it is eternal weekend testing. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought, I thought we found a broken deck when I, when I played this deck yesterday. 
Uh, all of my matches were 2-0 less than, less than eight minutes. Like, I just ran train through everything. Uh, obviously, that is... They they had force of will pitch force of will. Uh, I, I thought I might have broken it. So, it is eternal weekend testing, but, you know, testing and determining that I did not break it is also worthwhile. Oh, yeah, I mean, Mystic Forge is probably one of the, the single best card in the deck, right? Like, it's restricted for a reason. You can find Mystic Forge pretty easily, too. Like, you have Might Stones to sack and find it. You can sack other Vats. You can sack Lodestone. Like, it's not, like, super easy to find Forge, but you're also, like, a four top five key. Like, you draw a lot of cards. Like, in games like this, where your opponent counters every spell because they cast double Ancestral. Yeah, I mean, we're not, whatever, we're not doing anything. But uh, in other games, you can just draw through your whole deck and find the things you need. Like... Uh, it's not an exaggeration to say on some of the combo turns I've activated four or I've activated smelting vat four times to like every time you find a key and mana sources and you reactivate smelting vat until you find bolt key like that's happened a lot uh especially versus bizarre where you can activate and find like um soul guide lanterns and Tormod scripts and that kind of thing but well we're catching up on time so that's nice. I, we, we did cast, like, multiple Haymakers after mulling to five. We cast Defense Grid into Might Stone into Smelting Vat, and they just, they've had four forces, two Ancestrals, and a misstep, so. Really not much we could have done differently here. If we had kept seven cards, this might have been a playable game. But, I mean, the seven cards, the other two cards would have had to be uh, action, so. Lelia. What world are we living in? We're doing Lelia things? Unfortunately, our other Mightstone isn't our Mightstones aren't even draws now because of Narsa. At least it will kill Lelia for a turn. Karn. That is a haymaker. Does it resolve? And if it resolves, what do we do? We have three, five, eight, nine mana. So we don't have anything, and then we die. To, I mean, we can we can bridge. We can just bridge. It's probably going to be what we're going to do. Don't think we need to use our monolith. They can't have another force, right? <laughs> All right. Well, next turn we have Lattice Lock, right? What if we win this game? Oh, God. What is this? Oh, they have Dig Through Time as well? Oh, Breach. Okay. I still think I like my play. Are they going to consider? Yeah. So they have to hit Brain Freeze. I guess they can probe now. I guess they can hit Bolt as well. Their deck probably plays one Lightning Bolt. All right, probe. If they freeze, they have 12 cards to the yard. They have 30 cards in their deck. Yeah, all right. See if this hits. If it doesn't hit Lotus, I feel like there's shots here. They hit Demonic. No Lotus. They hit Lotus. They hit Lotus Demonic. I come on, man. Oh, wait, 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 we have a Karn, 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 everything is fine. Did they forget that we have a Karn? We have a Karn. I forgot we had a Karn. <laughs> I think they forgot we had a Karn as well. Beautiful. A plus. 
would play Magic again. Are we going to win this game? I, I almost conceded. I was real close. <laughs> Is he going to cast Probe a bunch of times? I wonder if we should plus our Karn. No, because they just have to have Force. And they only have... One, two, three... They have zero Forces left in their deck. So... I think we just Karn Lattice lock them. And then we just need to untap our vault. We might have to play this out though, because I don't know, opponent might want us to play this out. Uh, yeah, let's play around D's, I guess. They have to have second negation. That's all they can have, right? Second negation. Wow. We won that game. Whole, how did we win this game? Our opponent cast turn one Ancestral, turn two Ancestral, turn three Narset find Force. And we just won. Okay. Karn, I mean, Karn is broken. I get that. I'm going to bring in uh, Trinisphere and Cage and... Lantern, and then I'll take out Needle and a Might Stone, and <laughs> you two folks can't see. <laughs> uh, and um, maybe a Lodestone. Kind of hate Lodestone in this matchup. I don't really like it. Maybe that's silly. Let's try this. I like being able to hit Soul Guiding Cage off of Smelting Vat. But I don't think I want to play like Tormod Script. Uh, this hand's like a little anemic, but. Maybe I should just mulligan it. Well, I have Saga though. Let's try it. I have Saga Ancient Tomb, so. And they're not a Wasteland deck. Should be pretty reasonable, unless I get tinkered. I think if I get tinkered, it's pretty bad. What is this? Oh, I mean, that's pretty bad. Too many Ancestral Recalls. All right, well. I don't know. I think we're a little bit behind in this game because I, I didn't take a very powerful hand. This one's kind of relying on Saga to be good, and it, historically that has not been a very good plan. So we'll have to see if that comes to fruition here. Oh, uh, that can't be good. That means they're just going to tinker me. So, oh, they're just going to tinker me now. They had tinker in hand, or they had lotus in hand, or they're just going to ancestral. What is going on? It's happening. Nothing? They don't have tinker in their deck? Well, maybe that's why we're playing them in the 1-2 bracket, is they didn't put tinker in their deck. I don't know what's going on exactly. Are they, like, baiting me with, like, a breach or something? I don't know what's going on. I mean, if they had hard cast Citadel, they would have cast Citadel. I don't know what's happening. It's possible they just chose not to play Tinker Citadel. I, 
can't imagine what your reasoning would be why to do that. We haven't seen a saga from them. Maybe they're on some kind of like spell-based uh, breach deck, all-in breach deck with like Lelia as the pivot. I know I'm going to get a cage anyways. Okay, they're going to... I mean, I, so they have a an under they have a brain freeze. They're just gonna power through the lantern. I mean, I have to hit it. I can't let them just like demonic or ancestral. So, I mean, they could have ancestral. No, they can't ancestral. Yeah, I mean, so they have to just have a a brain freeze. I mean, hell, that's one way. All right, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll take a look at what you got going on here. I, I it's kind of crazy to decide. No, they're definitely a Tinker deck. They have a Mana Crypt. There's a Citadel. They just chose that. They just chose to do Breach Combo through a Soul Guide. That is some utter confidence on display. I I respect it. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a couple more looks inside of their deck. I've seen a braid. I see a shattering spree. A couple things to note. Yeah, maybe I just kept a hand that was too anemic. Just maybe needed a mulligan for a more powerful hand. I was on the draw, so that does make sense. If I was on the play, maybe I'd have more time. I don't know. I just like if you t ever take a hand where you're like, well, I need Saga to be good to win. I think it's just always a trap. Uh, Saga just never is fast enough in Vintage. Unless you have, like, significant counter magic and or wastelands or something to, to, to make it work. Some, some, at least we learned something from this game, though. Alright, these are all targeting... Oh, they're not all targeting them. Some of them are targeting them. Okay, now... Oh, they have two brain freezes still in their deck. I think I am going to bring in the Tormod scripts. I don't typically like it, but they seem to be pretty in on Brain Freeze stuff. And I'd like to be able to hit Tormod script off Smelting Vat on zero. I almost think I do want Lodestone. Mm, probably not, though. Let's, oh, I did not want to resubmit. Let's... Uh, I need to put a card out. Uh, I don't know which card I want to take out. Take out a Might Stone, maybe? I don't really like that. Oh, 61. Whoops. That hand is all mana. Well, again, this hand is monolith, opal, top, can't play a vat. Eh, this needed to be a workshop. I think I don't like this hand. I'm mulligan this. You need like one more. Yeah, yeah. This, this is what we want. Um. So I am going to put away one monolith and one in. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm like a man of short again here. It's gotta be Monolith Inspector, and then we'll just go Ancient Tomb Grid, and that will at least give us draws towards things like Vat Activate for Monolith. Like Moxin or something, or Keys. So there's another Mold of Five. They just let the Defense Grid resolve. It doesn't mean they don't have counters, they could have a Shattering Spree. Another mox in hand and in a braid. All right. So the defense grid got the one for one and a lotus. Okay. I did, we did draw the key that we were looking for. So we at least have 
a uh, nice power play here where our opponent has to have. I mean, they probably have negation off of Lotus, right? But how much I can really? I should not do that that way. Should do it this way in case they have a mental misstep. Now I will do Grim Monolith Key and Vat. See if they counter Vat. If they don't counter Vat, we'll probably activate it on our our Monolith. It does make us lower on mana, but we should hit mana off of it. If they do counter it, then it's not a huge deal. We still have, you know, untapping Monolith, active Saga. We're not at nothing, and they'll be at two cards with a lot of mana. We'll see. Maybe they'll be at three cards with less mana. <laughs> I feel like if you're letting a defense would resolve and then abrading it, probably have a force in their hand. We'll have to see what happens, though. This is like a pretty good mold of five on the play. You don't get a lot of action when you do that kind of mulliganing. Can we get something out of this? They could always let it resolve and then like shattering spree it. I can't hold open um, activation or anything like that because I have a floating mana. Not that you can sack it to itself, which is unfortunate. Um, but... Uh, opponent is still reading it. It's fair. There's a lot of text on it. Okay, it resolved. I'm going to turn this Grim Monolith into something, two things that are one or two, or I could turn it into a Monolith. So I have a lot of choices here. Do I want to go for Jet Pearl? I could go for any combination of Mox and One Drop, or... Uh, two one drops, or just get a new Grim Monolith. It should be better to get key, uh, sorry, to get top and uh, jet, I would think. And that way we can have a spin and we have a way forward. We're also advancing our saga mana and we're advancing. Yeah, this looks good. I think that's a pretty strong use. Of course, we could have also hit Time Vault off of that, which would have been definitely a card we'd want to hit. Obviously, that exposes us to Shattering Spree, and they have Black Lotus, so if they have Shattering Spree, we're just in great pain. At least we'll have a Saga backup plan. I do wish we could have holed up that so that we could do something like respond to a Tinker and try to find a Cage or something. But... We're just a little behind because we didn't have as many cards, just not keeping a seven card hand. Okay, so this looks like it'll be Merchant for Ancestral, I assume. Will they have a land for Ancestral? They do. So now they could find Shattering Spree and it would be pretty brutal. We had already tapped our key. And we had one floating mana, so I think it's better to just activate with the floating mana than lose it. Yep, they found Shattering Spree. <sighs> Not great. Not great. Oh, I mean, if we find Voltaic, then I could have gone, uh, we, you know, we could have untapped it, but we would have to use another mana to activate it. So my opponent chose to only replicate twice. Don't know exactly why. Maybe they have... I don't know why. Maybe they messed up. Oh, Alpine Moon for my Saga. Yeah, I mean, Power of Ancestral, Black Lotus. Oh, what a huge dagger. We found the vault. Oh, I mean, we're going to play to it, I think. We don't, we, unfortunately, we don't get the, the Saga to go off. But do we hold or do we try to resolve it now? Well, we have another three keys that are not in the bottom eight. We, have, we don't have a Voltaic in the bottom eight. It's probably worse to draw that and play it now than to... Um, Man, having a Saga and their one of Saga answer and a Shattering Spree off of Lotus there was kind of demoralizing. 
keys? Any, any keys? No. Uh, I mean, I got, we're just so far behind. I don't really know. I think we just play this now while they're at least likely to have force. And hope we spin into a, a key. No, I, 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 what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? If I didn't play the key off of Saga, I could have held open a vac. No, I needed to use my key. They had another force. I had to use my key to play my, my vat. So I had to untap my grim monolith. <laughs> All right, I mean, my opponent is just mur murdering us with ancestral recall. So once again. I don't know if Karn's going to get us out of it this time. The fact that my opponent still negated the Time Vault after they have a, mine on, uh, a Moon on Saga and one key already countered is pretty impressive. Ah, they have Saga in their deck. Ah, asymmetrical. Got him. <laughs> okay. They have, never mind. I, I was wrong. They don't have one Saga hate. They do have two Saga hates. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think we still have time. They only have one card. They just have a top in play. I mean, they just have a Saga in play. The problem is, we don't have any way to fetch off our top, so unless we draw, like, a key or a vat or something, then we are not really making significant progress. I could have had Saga and vat untapped and passed the turn, and then I wouldn't have been able to vat in response. I think you're miscounting mana. Did I spin already? I spin after or before I drew. Whatever. I can spin again. It didn't hurt anybody. Let's grab a second top. It is actually fine to have a second top, especially when you're doing, um, you know, a manifold key and vat stuff. See what we got. We need to find something underneath. <laughs> we found an Ursa Saga. I hate Ursa Saga so much. All right, so my opponent's going to make two cre two things and then get a top and then bury us with a fetch land. Brutal. Today has gone exceptionally poorly. I'm kind of sad that this will be the first video with the deck. Maybe I can try to record a different one. <laughs> it's just going to be, oh, I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, new broken EDH card in Vintage. And then it's just going to be me getting destroyed for four straight rounds, like six straight rounds. Oh, God, they didn't even have a top in their deck. Crazy. All right, I need to hit a Vat here or a Forge or anything other than these magic cards. Uh, well, we don't have much going on anymore. Increasingly brutal showing. All right. What's our last spin here? Is it something good? Nope, it is not. Well... That stunk. Hmm. Justin sad. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is now round five out of six on this vintage challenge. We are in the old uh, one three bracket here with the deck eighty four, who is going to be on Tinker Breach. Um. Man, I don't know. I feel like this hand is too much mana, but we do have an active top key, so it's probably good. It'll turn, it'll draw two cards a turn. Probably supposed to keep. The problem is if my opponent just plays enough blue power on turn one, we'll just die. 
which is what happened in our last breach matchup. Yeah, I don't have a, a 5 of recording. I wish I had recorded it. I just... I just don't... I don't know. I, I don't know how many games I it's possible to win with a Shops deck if your opponent like is, has Sapphire Ancestral on the play. Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do about this? You just lose, right? If you're not playing blue and you're on the draw against this hand. I think you just have to take the Vintage Variants. Maybe that just means you can't play this deck because you're not playing blue <laughs> or Bizarre. Blue in Bizarre. I, I expect the deck 84 to be at Four Seasons. That's true. I mean, you're probably beating... I mean, unless, unless you have... Unless uh, I have Mental Misstep, right? You're, you're probably winning that, too. That's fair. I mean, if opponent has nothing... All lands. If they force this, I actually have nothing left to do for the turn. But if they don't force it, I get to play so many cards. It's crazy. I don't know if that makes this card good or bad. Or worth forcing or not worth forcing. But I'm pretty much going to make this play every time. Just play all three of these cards for free and then draw two cards. I guess I get whole breachered if I do that. Hmm. Oh, they're F6. Oh, they're F6. I feel like we can spin and go for something if we can find it. Like a vat or a forge here is super good. Super good. Oh, now they're not F6. Needle, Monolith. I can Needle Saga. It's quite good. Definitely makes my worries smaller. Yeah, I mean, if I get Hull Breacher, I get Hull Breacher. I don't think I can realistically play around Hull Breacher at this point. Just concede to a Hull Breacher, right? I, we're just so far behind that I, if we try to play around a card, I don't really know how that's going to get us to a victory. We kind of have to take the high risk, high reward play. <laughs> high, I shouldn't say high reward, high risk, me, medium reward play. Got a whole breacher. Channel your inner Renee. Give me your inner Renee right now. Throw it down. I'll concede. I promise. I pro oh, oh my God! They didn't have it. All right. Well, I don't know what they have because they didn't force anything, and they didn't hole breacher. They didn't kill me on their turn. So what does that mean? They have in their hand. Maybe they have forces, but they just didn't think anything was a threat, which is. And evaluation. We've we we we've won worse games today. We we did win the one match where our opponent went turn one ancestral, turn two ancestral. Oh, we didn't win the match, but we won the game. So uh, maybe we should maybe I shouldn't be so doom and gloom. Maybe I should be hop optimistic. Maybe I should be more optimistic. I don't know what's going on, chat. 
How's your day going? <laughs> Someone entertain me. I'm past the point of entertaining you. Too good for you. Little Sun Sun. Wait, what? What do we got? Probe. Okay. You now know I have nothing in hand. You may kill me. Past you. Little past you. Oh, we get just. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? All right. Uh, we'll draw this saga. They're going to get their own top off of saga, which will probably be bad for us. But I think it was better than letting them have two huge constructs. Let's see if we can find anything of value here. Uh, oh. Well, that's value. Do we try to bait with a might stone and a weak stone? That is the question. Do we have the mana to bait? If we were to activate top, well, we don't. We, we really can't bait, right? Because we can't draw two and save our key activation. So we can just go for it. But I mean, I, our opponent has to have a force, right? They, they, there's no way they have anything other than forces in their hand. So I kind of think we should do double draw, play Might Stone this turn. And try to find some way through this. I, 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 there's just no possible way they don't have... I guess I could also, they could have drawn a Hold Reacher. <laughs> they, they have to have Counter Magic. There's no, they, they didn't play a land. They didn't play Moxin. They, they have to have Counter Magic. Or maybe they did play a land, actually. No, I don't think they... Think well, I don't know. Uh, all right, I will play a free top. Does that resolve? I will play a... So I can use my Manolith, and that lets me play a Saga, so I probably should do that. All right, does this one resolve? I really don't know what is going to be like the car they decide is too good. Is it only going to be Time Vault? In which case we have to like... Okay, draw. Maybe they're trying to bait it. Uh, Yeah, so we just have... I mean, we can spin and we still have some more mana to use. So we can find like a vat. Maybe they'll counter a vat. Found a VAT, found a defense grid. Uh, all right, so I currently have two mana, four mana, up to six mana. So I could VAT a Mind Stone here. I don't think it's worth it to the grid, right? Because they don't care about grid. They can still play hard cast force through grid. So, yeah, I mean... I'm in. They'll have to say no to this. If they don't, I think we just get rid of a Might Stone. Oh, they said they let it go. Well, now we could maybe hit, like, key or something, so. I mean, I'm going to sack this Might Stone and go get some more stuff. 
Do they just have nothing? Is it possible? I got another vat and a key. So I technically have Volt Key this turn, but I can't beat Counter still. I could technically get Defense Grid. I could get Defense Grid Key and make them use their Lotus, maybe? Well, they don't have to use their Lotus. It's probably better to just get Vat Key so that we can do more grinding next turn. We can get it that far. We can actually do another VAT activation too. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just play it this time. Like I I don't I don't I don't I even it, I feel like I just had to go for it. Maybe they have a braid. I mean, if they have nothing, then I I am been boozled. But we've done a lot of things this turn, so I'm not unhappy. The deck is doing... I'm finally doing something. I'm playing some magic, taking some game actions. <laughs> they just resolved! They have to have a braid, right? Alright, whatever, man. You got me, you got me. Yeah, they have a braid. Okay. Um, hmm. Repeal, maybe? Oh my god, that's... Okay. Uh... Oh god, I have no mana. <laughs> wow. I have no moxin. Okay, okay. All right. My zero moxin 15 cards in. That's not good. Now they... <sighs> okay. Well, I don't think we're in, like, that bad of a spot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I played a land, right? Yeah, this is my turn two. This is my turn two? Okay, uh, I can very... I mean, maybe they're gonna get a needle off of this, but we have two types of... Well, they just get Time Vault. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of Needle and one of the big vats and uh, a Saga and a Monolith and another Monolith. All right, see what happens. It's kind of just really unfortunate that we have no Moxin. Maybe I was supposed to smelt instead of vault because then I could have hit double moxin. I think I made a mistake there. I, I I thought about a braid, but I think I was supposed to just use my smelting vat on a uh, on anything and try to hit two mana sources. See, this is what I'm saying though. I feel like there's a lot of like small things that I'm just not seeing that could be game winning, you know? I think I just played kind of badly today. I kept bad hands, played little mistakes. Opponents had like pretty strong ancestral hands. Yeah, I mean it's definitely not the high it's not definitely not hitting the same power level that I thought it was hitting before, but like I think that's possible I could have won that game or this that turn if I had played better. I think the key was using my last remaining mana to sack like a, a monolith and get two mana sources. I guess I still would have to hit, like, really good mana sources, right? If I hit, like, Moxin, Moxin. Oh, if I hit Moxin, Moxin, then I can play Land, Soul Ring, or you can play Mox, Soul Ring, Mox, Foundry Inspector, but then I'm out of mana. So I might have to hit, like, Black Lotus or Manifold, uh, Mana Crypt. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> I activate for one mana, and I can turn something into two mana. I mean, I think it's, like, fine to play a Hercules. If everybody is playing stupid Urza Saga decks, then it's nice to have, like, an out. It also bounces Citadel. Like, it's fine. It's never bad to play a Hercules in the main, even if Shops isn't a huge meta percentage. I, I, I... Yeah. 
I'm just saying the way that game went, I think if I had activated my VAT and found good mana sources, we could have beat a Hercules. I just didn't think to play around Hercules, so I lost the turn. I didn't realize what we needed was extra mana sources. <laughs> that was just, I didn't know. All right, so my opponent has to kill me here. They've just cast Dig Through Time Brainstorm. Like, I'm gonna I have to die, I assume. Well, I think 2022 Esper PO is like really good right now. Okay, Tinker, Citadel, yeah. I mean, they can still brick. Their deck is full of sagas and stuff. Nope. Okay. Well, I don't think that matters yet. Unless they have a, 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 a they hit one breach there. How many breaches is they? How many breaches did they play? They play two breaches. Oh, okay. Well, they got me. Unfortunate. I do think I had a chance there if I had seen the line, but I am too small brain. Let's bring in a training sphere on the play, especially, and I like Soul Guide Lantern here, and then. I'm going to take out a Mite Stone and a Needle. I really don't even think I want this Needle. Who cares? If they kill me with Saga Tokens, whatever. I don't think that matters that much. I mean, I was pretty convinced they had a counter matchup. Or a counter spell? Uh, no, I don't think so. I haven't been bringing in Dismember for anything except for Collector Roof. We are 1 3 in this challenge, and I am 2 0 with a concession in the league. So it probably is showing both of those at the same time in the little thing on the bottom. So probably slightly confusing. Like, the whole thing that I was playing around that turn was a counterspell, and I think it makes sense for me to try to play around a counterspell to the best of my ability, because it, you know, that's like the most likely thing they have in their hand. In fact, they might have still have a counterspell in their hand, and then just chose to use Hercules Recall. I, I think you should definitely try to play towards counterspell there, and and then, like, when we found out they didn't have a counterspell or weren't ever going to cast their counterspell, then I need to think, well, if they don't have a counterspell, what is the next thing they have? And I and I put them on a Braid um, when maybe I should have put them on Hercules, I guess. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's exactly true either, but... Like, their, their tops having one a Braid and one Hercules in their deck in game one. So it, it's kind of a, a crapshoot either way. Man, I love Ken Easter underscore MTG. What a cool guy. Uh, welcome, viewers. We're getting our ass whooped. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know like what I don't know how you progress from there if they have action. All right, let's try this again. Uh, this hand's fantastic. I'm gonna keep. So we're gonna go monolith key and then one of our power. Like, we have three payoffs here. We don't have a lot of mana though, so hopefully monolith key things go okay. I do think I am just going to get extra mana. I'm probably just going to lead with Forge. Um, I think it's just the strongest play. Maybe not. Maybe I can go that because I have... Well, my whole problem is I have... I mean, I, I don't really want to sack Monolith. It's my Currently, it's my mana source, right? It's possible we could just go Might Stone and draw two... That still gives me two mana left over. So I would have to hit a Moxin or a Soul Land to play a Forge. 
Hmm. Like this is the kind of thing where like if I was have I if I had played the deck for a long time, I might know the answer like right away. Where now I have to think about what makes the most sense. Like Forge is obviously the best card for me to like the, the most high the highest value card. But they haven't cast any forces yet. I think I'm gonna play the Might Stone. It's gonna it, it, give me more mana. And it's also less valuable than Forge. Okay. So we got Force Pitching Hercules. All right. So we actually don't have enough mana next turn to play any of our four drops without drawing additional mana. I guess that is a concern. But... I still like what I chose to do. Definitely would have helped if the Might Stone resolved, but this looks okay. We have lots of mana sources in our deck to hit. We have t like t you know, 12 mana rocks plus... Three more Grim Monolith, plus more keys, plus all our lands. So I think we have a high likelihood of hitting mana next turn, in which case we can play a Forge or something. Let's see what we get. Looking for mana. Mana, 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 mana. Mana. All right, that is mana. Uh, play mana. I could also choose to just go for Karnstrucks, but again, I just don't think Karnstrucks are good. I'm just going to play a Mystic Forge. I do need to hit zeros to get through here. I still think it's worth it to just try to hit zeros. Hit Lodestone, not great. Um, Probably I'm getting rid of that and upkeep. Maybe that was bad. It's kind of rough to play Forge uh, with zero mana open, but pretty high upsides. It's definitely better than just playing that with zero mana open. I don't know about getting rid of Tomb. Like, we do want to draw Tomb, but then you're just losing possible value, which I don't know if it makes the most sense. So we need to see, if we don't die, which we may or may not die, what is our best way forward, considering I chose not to go with Karnstrucks? We probably will turn this saga into mana. So we might have like two or three, we three or four mana plus two mana from Monolith, six mana or so, plus anything off of Forge. If we don't lose all of our stuff to like a an abrade or not a braid, like a by force or a shattering spree. This looks like a shattering spree. If you're gonna fetch Volk Volk here, uh, so if we get shattering spree and we lose Forge. Key Pearl. <laughs> I mean, that's just a nightmare, right? Yeah, it's just Shattering Spree. Man, and then we're going to draw an uncastable Lodestone instead of an Ancient Tomb. I've really made this difficult for myself. <laughs> I feel like I played so badly today. Mystic, yeah, they just kill everything. This the on color ruby into double fetch red sources. Ugh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna get a key and untap my monolith instead of getting a well. That's not unfair. This makes me sad though. Why? 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 Why are we making me sad? I could go Mana Vault and play a Lodestone or a Smelting Vag. That's, just, that's terrible, though. I mean, do I have to go have to go Soul Ring here, maybe? I can, maybe I can't even go Key. If I untap, where am I really even getting? I mean, I'm getting the ability to play Vat Activate next turn. Yeah, I'm going to go, go Key. It's a high, high upside here. Uh, okay, whatever. We're doing it. Opponent has two cards left in hand. They can't Demonic Tutor because they fetched Double Volcanic. They have losing mana crypt flips. Well, now they can demonic tutor. 
Well, they have one card left in hand. It is... What is it? What is it? You're going to cast it. Just cast it. What's the worst that could happen? I hate this game. Okay. Uh, opponent hates artifact. All right. Boom. That's the land. All right. We continue. I guess it wouldn't have been much better for me if I had put a soul ring. Although I guess if I draw a saga, it is a lot better for me if I put a soul ring in play. All right. They have one new card. They drew off the top of their library. Uh oh. They're gonna. <laughs> is it demonic tutor tinker? No, you, you couldn't do this to me. Not like this. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That's evil. Man. Well, this video, this, this challenge went so badly. Come on. I'm in so much pain. I mean, you just get a brain freeze, right? Or no? What do you do? No, no, no. You just get Lotus. Isn't this just a terministic Lotus kill? Or are we we're short on cards in yard? Probably short on cards in yard. Uh, this gets Lotus. Crack Lotus. Cast Demonic. No, it's just a terministic load. What, what, what are we doing here, the deck 84? Kill me. No, oh, they missed it. They missed it. We have to play longer. It's deterministic, right? You just resolve that demonic for a lotus, then you resolve a second demonic for a freeze, then you have extra mana floating. This is the- No, they hit- they hit Jet! So they can cast Demonic again! This is like when a PO player casts PO without tapping top. Or tapping top before cast- before the PO. Oh, they're just gonna go for Tinker next turn instead. I hope we draw Time Vault. We deserve it. Uh, okay, I mean... So we go Monolith into Vat, into Activate Vat, and hit... Oh, we can't hit Time Vault, though. Well, we can hit Time Vault, but we won't have any mana left over. Uh, hmm. Does that mean we should just play Lodestone, then? For Citadel? Or maybe they're just going for, like, Second Breach. What would you DT for there? Would you DT for Tinker, or would you DT for Second Breach? You would just DT for Second Breach, right? Breach, and then Demonic. And then... Well, we could actually hit Time Vault and a Mox. Fuck YOLO. YOLO! I didn't come here not to game. We hit Time Vault, but we didn't hit a Mox! The- Oh, the pain! The pain... We were so close. Oh, we tried. You know, that's what matters the most. Probably. They're at 10 life. They went for Tinker. Okay, hold on. 10 life, Tinker. This is not deterministic. They could hit Saga Saga. They could hit Force of Will, and I'm and I'm winning. Bolt, okay. And land and concede, concede, and he concedes. Come on, come on, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. No! Wait, why did they abrade the smelting vat? Don't you want to abrade the vault key? Oh, it doesn't matter. They're just they're just playing with me. 
Ah, oh, they didn't brick. What a life. Just to braid the smelting vat. <laughs> what could go wrong? This was a hard game to play. I got hurt playing this game. My, my, ugh. All right, they've, I, I believe they've figured out everything. Can I concede? I took so much damage. I don't know, man. They could cast a two drop off a of Citadel. <laughs> All right. I'll concede. I can't believe that. There's no shot. We're going to get a buy. We're going to go one four, get a buy. All right, chat. I hope you are ready for the one four battle. For absolutely no prizes and absolutely no glory. Let's do it. I think this is a keep. <laughs> I think this is a keep. We get a spin. And we can hit. A Moxin or a Saga, and it puts us in a really good... Not, we can hit any Workshop. We can hit... Just any Mana Source? Well, not any Mana Source, because Grim Monolith doesn't really do it. Mm, this is the last round. This might not be a good hand. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm in the 1-4 bracket. We'll just keep experimenting. I... If I get misstepped, I lose, which we definitely considered when I kept this hand. I'm just thinking, like, mana crypt top, spin top, see what we got. Any kind of land looks great, uh, like especially a Saga to go with our Time Vault. Workshop is nice. We, <laughs> we missed. Ah, we missed. Okay, all right. I don't know how it's been going. All right. Well, we have a Grim Monolith coming. And then we can uh, we can do something. I mean, we're not, we're, not, we're not dead dead. Maybe I'm stupid. Have we considered that? I don't really know if we've considered that or not. You get to see my hand. The deck is pretty. The deck is pretty. We do technically have uh infinite draws if we go if we change it up and we go inspector into okay all right okay uh yeah i accept yeah 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 okay <laughs> I would love a new seven. Thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, oh, never mind. They're a powerful wizard. Okay. Do, do, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Is it a citadel? Oh, no. It's even worse. Oh no, we're dead to DPS. <laughs> we're gonna go one in five. Yup. Yup. You got it. Lotus ritual, largest Lotus dark petition, kill me. All right, okay, I see you, opponent. You got me. Yeah, they figured it out. All right, you got me. 
Uh, okay. All right. We have just not beating anyone. All right. Well, we get to take defense card out because they don't play instant speed interaction. And we can bring in the stone brain. I don't know what that's good for. Trinisphere sounds good, though. Uh, Lantern sounds good. Crypt and Cage sound great. Um, maybe we don't bring in the stone brain. Well, it's gotta be better than Needle. All right, dope. Accept. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I scammed myself. I believe I have scammed myself. I got false sense of security when Slasher told me the deck was good. This hand's sweet. We've got a bunch of fast mana and things to, to vat. Like, this hand looks like it could do something. So I think I'm going to go for the the Might Stone first, though. I think it's better than just hitting Monolith right away. This can also increase my mana. Um, and I can still hit extra mana, too. Uh, yeah. So the biggest <laughs> problem now is if my opponent depresses us, <laughs> And uh and uh takes our smile smelting vat. Every time I've cast the Might Stone, it feels like it's been a trap. But the good news is I can smelting vat the Might Stone next turn and get get back at it. So if our opponent doesn't kill us on turn one, or they don't duress our vat. Uh, I feel like I've made Poor decisions. The good news is we probably can do a bunch of vatting next turn. Is that a thing? Is that a verb? Vatting? We can, like, vat this thing into, like, a key and something else, and then vat this thing, and then, you know, try to go on. You know, we can do fun things. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Navi. Everything has gone downhill since the five zero. Everything has gone downhill. A bunch of smelting? Nah, we should do vatting. <laughs> smelting sounds normal and lame and horrible. Let's vat things. Time walk. Okay, time walk into Tinker. Kill me. I accept. For the good of the realm. I will end this stream on a low note and sign off like this deck was never a thing. Oh, God, yeah. Uh-huh. Vampiric into Tinker. Do it. Do it. Or is it just Ancestral? No, it's Vampiric into Tinker. All right, we're dead. Awesome. Fantastic. A+. plus. Maybe they brick. Maybe DPS bricks. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Everything has gone so badly. Like, I want to try to like, complain. Like, this, these are all restricted cards, but that's just the whole deck. The whole deck is restricted cards. I'm just going to go back to playing PO, where all my cards are restricted and my deck is broken. Oh, we're dead. That has got to be deterministically lethal. Yup. 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 Everything is bad. Everything is so bad. All right, well, they understand how to kill me, so. All right, well, I gave my opponent one turn, uh, which was a mistake, you know. All right, so I would have drawn a smelting vat. Hey, I was going to draw the second smelting vat. I was insulated against uh, duress. Nice. All right, so one. Oh, it's going to break. Uh, no, no, no. One, two, two three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we would have we would have been in trouble. I guess we would have gotten Monolith Stone Brain and or yeah, we could get Monolith Stone Brain and then we could have vatted uh we could have vat our vat for another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that would give us a top. Wow, we hit no keys in our top 26. 
Um, so that would have given us top opal or top something. That, that, or no, there's a, there's a monolith. So it would have given us like top monolith. Then we could vat a monolith. No, we couldn't vat a monolith because we're actually out of activations because we hit no keys. I think we would have lost this game actually. It's mostly uh, because sacking a three cost is really, really nice. Uh, and then obviously it gets value with key. We were trying serum powder in that slot as well, but it was a little awkward. The monoliths didn't really do much today, but they're only a two of. Basically, we're looking like for other like additional VAT things that could hit Vault Key. The deck is basically a turbo Vault Key deck. It didn't really, we didn't really get to show it off very much today, unfortunately. Um, we kind of just got bullied. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sad. I was hoping I could show you guys a little bit more. Uh, I probably will play the rest of these league game matches out for stream if we can if we can find matches. But this was a five o deck in a, mu a much worse of this build, a much worse build of this deck five o would and it wasn't really close. It was like four. It was like five two o's that were all less than ten minutes total time. But maybe I ran hot, and I probably did. I probably ran hot. People didn't know what was going on today. I kind of. Just didn't have any shot against the, anyone, really. <laughs> well, uh, the good news is that hopefully this deck will not be running over the format anytime soon, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, the bad news is who knows when we get to play it another time. New vintage content, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, even when I'm gone, including a metagame update coming soon. I'll catch you in those videos.